Hello, everyone, and uh, once again, welcome to uh, RJ's Story Hour. Uh, uh, what we, uh, you know, maybe we need a better name, uh, but that's what I have at this time. This section is entitled Things to Know if you're traveling abroad. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's a really interesting experience. Nothing is the way that you would expect it to be. But I was certain to come over with the, the expectation that uh, there would be a lot of moments where I wouldn't know what to do and that sometimes uh, I'm probably going to make a lot more mistakes than I do, you know, when I'm home and where when I know where everything is. So bringing, I think, that expectation was possibly one of the most important things I packed because otherwise, I think at this point, I maybe would be a screaming Mimi. Um, I've had, you know, I mean, I've had my share of difficulties getting over here, as you may know from the past postings, but I don't expect, I don't, I don't pack my schedule like I do when I'm in Omaha. I don't, you know, there, there are large spaces of time where I can, you know, take a minute and figure things out. And that has been very helpful so far. Uh, I'm really, I'm really glad for that because if I had these, this many frustrations with just the simple getting around in Omaha, I think I'd be tearing my hair out. So anyway, things to know, um, things to know and do. Uh, I also have a list of things I need to find out, but that's a total other segment. Uh, I was talking in a former little video about maps and pens. I didn't expect to have to do this over here. I didn't. I mean, I thought that I was paying, you know, the money on my phone plan so that I could, you know, have all these things on me all the time, just like in Omaha, so that I would, you know, simply you know, take out my phone or take out my iPod and be able to figure out where I was and where I needed to get to. And we got, we got an app for that. And it just hasn't happened that way. Um, for one thing, the Wi-Fi coverage is pretty spotty. We don't yet have it in the dorm here, which I find problematic because, uh, how am I going to do my homework? You know what I mean? So, um, that, that I have to look into tomorrow to see, you know, they said, they, you know, that was one of the reasons I signed up for this dorm. Of course, and I didn't know this, school doesn't start tomorrow. I didn't know this. I just thought, I mean, it said on the schedule, school, you know, it's the 10th, we needed to be here. Um, nope, uh, because there's, there's no other students here. Um, there's just not very many at all that I've seen in my dorm. I know that Igor is here because he came and got me at about noon today and we went exploring the city. I know that a few of the others are here because I saw them. But as for like meeting other students, not nah, not nada, nada. So so none of the other students are here and I believe that the internet is a student managed thing. So it would make sense that it's not on yet, but I need to figure that out. But at any rate, I've had to learn some new skills in the last few days. You know how I am about learning new skills. I don't want to ski, just give me the damn skis. I, you know, I don't want to practice, I don't want to mess up, especially in front of other people. I'm very sensitive about that. And um, it's just not been possible to get things the way that I want them. Uh, I cannot, I cannot have it both ways. I cannot get to where I want to go and look cool doing it. So. I've just adapted my dorkiness. I'm gonna just embrace it. I'm gonna hug it before I go to sleep every night, tell it how much I love it, and watch it grow. I mean, I don't know. Uh, or maybe it'll go away if I embrace it like that, but I'm just not gonna look cool doing some of these things. I'm gonna look like a dorky American trying to figure it out because she doesn't know what the score is. That's okay. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna be okay with that because if I just, if I wasn't okay with that, I would stay in my room all the time. I would not go out because it's scary out there. Let me just tell you, it's a little scary out there. You can't really read a lot of things. <laughs> some of the signs are in English too, but some of them aren't. And uh, like they handed me a rental agreement that's all in German. I, I don't know what I'm signing here. I, I have no idea. 
firstborn child? Well, okay, because, you know, it's not currently in my life plan, but <laughs> here, you could also have my firstborn stegosaurus. Um, <laughs> anyway, I mean, I might have kids later on, but, uh, you know, I don't know. So anyway, moving on. It's a different subject. So uh, I've had to I've had to learn to embrace my dorkiness. Uh, I've had to learn to have low expectations. Like I probably can't get 16 places today. Maybe I can only get two places today. That's okay. I'm learning. We'll just leave that space for me to allow allow that space for me to learn. It's fine. Um, and uh, two, I've had to learn to kick it old school. Now. I know that many of you have seen these. Um, I, uh, you know, and I have a whole pack of these at home. It was only an accident that one of them was in my bag, but the other night it was like, oh my God, I need a pen. I haven't needed a pen in a couple of years because I just take all my notes in my phone. That's why they're, you know, they're always on me. I don't, I don't have to look after teeny little pieces of paper floating around my apartment. I've got, I've got too much to do. <laughs> I don't want to do that crap. <laughs> I've got things to do, man. So, um, so I haven't really needed one of these desperately outside a school situation in a long time. Um, but I have found myself needing it badly in the last few days. Also, here is something that has been very important to me and my constant companion since my Google Maps won't work without Wi-Fi. Mm, yeah. Oh, it's a map. It's a paper, fold out, hold this up so everybody knows you're a tourist map. And I'm really grateful for it. Um, I, uh, you know, they make these things so well. It's so beautiful. I've already got um, some places marked that I need to go to. Um, the grocery store, other places, the university. Fabulous. Uh, I mean, it's it's uh, truly kicking it old school. And, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll adopt an abacus if it makes, you know, if it makes a difference at this point. <laughs> um, but I, you know, I mean, it was okay. It was, it's been okay getting around and, um, and I've been okay at it. I'm not as fluent as some of the others. Uh, Igor can get on a train headed anywhere and, uh, get to where he's going regardless if the train is actually headed there or not. He has special powers. I don't. Uh, I only have the powers <laughs> given to me at birth, so, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so that's kind of, uh, it's been, it's been a little scary and I try not to stop to think about things because if I did, I would probably frighten myself out of doing them. So I just kind of function as if I know how to do things and, uh, that's been working for me too. And so I also went shopping today for some things that I need and, um, I would like to show you those things now. Uh, the results of my shopping trip. And uh, I would like to first show you the bag. Okay, you see this bag? It's from the Euro store, uh, which is also, uh, you know, many, in the States, of course, the dollar store, but uh, of course, when in Europe, right? It's the Euro store. We went there tonight. I purchased not one, but two towels, because they weren't here. <laughs> I also purchased, <laughs> it's their version of oust. Uh, there are a lot of people, I think everybody has this little like kitchen stove arrangement that I have, um, and a lot of people cook, and uh, kind of smells actually. <laughs> so <laughs> that is why I have purchased this. Um, also, I purchased, uh, I was looking for toilet paper because that didn't come with the room either. And I found this. Uh, it is as big as it looks. It is like, <laughs> what does it say about the size of my butt? I don't know, but I couldn't find regular toilet paper. So I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm going to go to a different store tomorrow. I'm going to go to an actual grocery store. Perhaps then we'll have things that I'm more used to looking at. I think this is maybe paper towels for a kitchen, but I just can't be sure. And it was too funny of a joke to not, you know, to, to not tell. And so, you know, I mean, that's, uh, that's my story today. Uh, of the things that you should know and the things that you should be sure and buy at the grocery store. Look, it comes with a handy carrying case. I mean, how could you possibly resist that? I couldn't, obviously. That's why I have one. So, um, 
you know, that's, uh, I think that might be my story for today. Thank you for listening. Uh, there will be another strange installment filled with information you may or may not ever need. But until then, adieu.